questions, for reflection. Through these anointed words of St. John, we are invited into the joy of the kingdom to come. When the triumphant Lamb of God, Christ the King, stands on Mount Zion, after His triumphant second coming, surrounded by the fullness of His people, His church, birthed from His wounded side on the cross. The Bible uses numbers as a symbolic language. 144,000 is 12 times 12. The 12 tribes of Israel and the 12 apostles represent all the people who have ever and will ever accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and become those who worship in a loving communion for all eternity. By our baptism, we were incorporated into the church. Through our free choices, we grow closer and closer to being numbered among this 144,000. Are we choosing to grow in holiness? Are we choosing to turn away from sin and toward the Lord? Are we choosing to serve Jesus Christ as the King of Kings and Lord of Lords? The psalmist reminds us once again that the earth is the Lord's and we belong to Him. To stand in His presence, we must be pure and holy. He has given us all we need to respond to this invitation through the grace being poured out in and through Jesus Christ. Are we seeking Him with our whole heart? The widow is given to us as a model because she gave everything she had. She held absolutely nothing back. It was not the amount of the currency, it was the fullness of the heart. So too with us, the Lord asks for our full surrender our holding nothing back. That is the call to discipleship. That is the Christian vocation. It's expressed in many different states in life and ways, but the foundation is the same. A life surrendered to the King, Jesus Christ. Have we chosen this way of life?